What's going on guys? It's Machanga back with another video. Now, as a long time cord cutter, I'm always looking for ways to maximize my access to gut content that me and my family are interested in. Now, I don't use cable or satellite service anymore, so streaming services are super important to me. Now, here comes this mobile app called Quibi, which is supposed to be the short for quick bites of content. There's typically a lot of hype built up around new things and it was no different for Quibi, but I'm gonna be 100% honest here. I don't really find Quibi to be that impressive, at least not for my needs. I'll go ahead and let you know now, it's not a free streaming service. So if that's something you're looking for, you're not gonna be interested here. You're not gonna be interested in this app. And it does have ads unless you're willing to pay $7.99 for shows that only last 10 minutes or less. I completely understand the short attention span of many people, but if I'm watching a TV show or a movie, I need more than 10 minutes to even get into it and to really build up that level of interest that makes me want to keep watching. I understand that this is designed strictly for consuming the content on your phone. But the lack of compatibility with casting to my TV or using it on my laptop is another major deal breaker for me. If you primarily look at your shows or movies on your phone, then that's not going to bother you. But I'm definitely not one of those people. I'm disappointed by the fact that I can't use Chromecast or AirPlay with this service. An app can be built for mobile devices and I'm fine with that, but it should still offer that bit of flexibility for those of us that are stuck at home and will be spending more time in front of the TV. While I know that creating a dedicated TV app is probably outside of the scope of the founder's vision for Quibi, it's still a huge letdown and one of the reasons why many cord cutters will probably avoid committing their money to Quibi. Nowadays, many of us use large screen smartphones, so it's exciting to have access to new and fresh content created to take advantage of that screen real estate. Before the global lockdown, we watched content on the bus, the subway, riding in our Ubers, and waiting at the airport. So it's nice that Quibi has this innovative technology called Turnstile. It pretty much allows seamless switching between portrait and landscape video playback. It's a welcome technology since you don't get those annoying pauses and stutters that normally accompany switching from portrait to landscape, but it's just not enough to compel me to pay for Quibi. And to add injury to insult, I can use the app on my tablets like my iPad Pro, for example, but there's currently not even a version of the app that is optimized for tablet use. It's just super annoying to me and it gives me another reason to stick with services like Netflix and Hulu. Speaking of Netflix and Hulu, their video library is not only significantly more expansive, but it's much more diverse and interesting. I've yet to find a show on Quibi that I feel I want to see another episode or season of. At $5 per month, I simply don't want to continue using Quibi. I could spend $8 a month for the ad-free version, but I just don't want to. It's not worth it for me with all of the other streaming services I use daily that offer much more. All of my current streaming services can be watched not only on mobile devices, but also on any of my TVs and laptops. I'm not gonna go as far as to say that Quibi is a complete and total train wreck and a waste of resources, but I'm seriously having a hard time understanding what it offers that isn't already available in better formats, and why in the world I would want small bites of entertainment at a time where I actually have more free time to watch my shows. I just haven't found anything that I truly want to binge on. I can find entertaining short format pieces of content right on YouTube, and it'll be viewable on any of my available screens. Maybe once we get through the global pandemic, I'll be open to revisiting Quibi and giving it another chance to make a more favorable impression. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing truly bad about the app and all of the content it offers, there are some really, really high dollar actors and actresses you can really tell that a lot of money has been thrown into the production of the shows. The app itself hasn't been buggy for me and it's actually been pretty reliable. You can even download the shows for viewing later. But again, it's just not enough for me. The short clips that make up each show just left a bad taste in my mouth and it gave me nothing to look forward to. Even though it's a paid streaming app, 
I can't add a separate profile for anyone else in my household and I'm limited to one device streaming at one time. Before I started working on minimizing my daily phone use, I was constantly staring at my phone hours at a time and every moment of downtime I had. I don't do that now, but let's say you do. Let's say you still spend countless hours consuming content on your phone. I personally haven't found anything that Quibi exclusively offers that makes me want to recommend you spend your money on it. Now, there is a sliver of light though. You can get a 90 day free trial as long as you download the app before April 30th. I say go ahead and try it out for yourself because this review is just my own personal opinion from using the app since it was launched. It's not the app for me. And right now I have enough valuable monthly subscriptions that I use free and paid, but it could definitely be for you and your family. It's still brand new. So it's going to take a bit of time to build its offerings. So I do plan to take another look at it after a few months have gone by. Do you already use Quibi? Let me know down in the comments what your experience has been, whether positive or negative. Have you found any favorites on the app that you want to share? Again, jump down in the comment section below and let's talk about it. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you tap the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I release new content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.